Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn. Today I have for you guys a video. I'm going to do my top 10 strongest candles from Bath and Body Works. And I don't know about you guys, but I love a strong candle. So I'm going to share with you guys my favorite strong throwing candles from Bath and Body Works. And if you guys are interested in watching that, then just keep watching. So before I get started, um, I just want to mention in a few a few videos ago, I just I had a video up of my like top 10 least favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. And I described a couple of the candles as like um an old lady scent and let me just rephrase that because um, what I meant to say was like a stinky old lady because not every older lady out there smells bad in fact a lot of them smell amazing so um, it was wrong of me to say that every older woman smells a certain way so, um, that's what I meant by that, is a stinky old lady perfume, is what I meant. Because not every older woman smells stinky, obviously, okay, you guys, so that's what I meant by that. Um, but moving on, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite strong candles from Bath and Body Works, and by the way... Um, this is just my opinion. Some of you guys might find some of these candles don't throw very well. And um, I'm also going to share with you guys some like notoriously weak candles that I have found. And you guys might think those are strong. So this is just my opinion. So, um, But I will say that I have been burning candles from Bath & Body Works for a long time. Like at least 10 years so I have come across some super strong ones and some not so strong ones so I'm gonna share that with you guys um, so starting off with a couple of weak candles um, I just wanted to share these with you guys um, I'm just gonna start with peppermint marshmallow oh and by the way I do have a few of these candles to show you guys especially the ones the strong ones um, the weak ones I don't really have because obviously I'm not repurchasing those but so starting it off with peppermint marshmallow that one is so delicious on cold like it's just a sweet sweet marshmallow but burning it um, it's always been super light for me so um, there's that one crisp morning air like a few years ago I got crisp morning air and I couldn't even smell it in the jar, so I automatically exchanged that one. And then this last fall, I was like, you know what? I should really give it a try. So I got it, I burned it, and again, nothing. Which which sucks because crisp morning air is like so refreshing and so nice of a scent. And um, I just wish it threw better, but... Um, and then I have, I do have this one to show you guys, and you guys might disagree with me on this one, um, but I think it's super light, I don't know, um, and that's Sweet Carrot Cake. So, I got this one last year, I got a couple of these, and I burnt them, and, well, I I, I think I only burned one, but it was so light and smelling this now, I can't smell like anything. Like I smell like a hint of cinnamon and maybe that's it, but it sucks because the packaging's super cute. I would love to have a nice throwing carrot cake, but let me, get, let me know what you guys thought of this candle. Was it strong for you or not? I don't know. Um, and then vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. That one has been going strong for like years. Well, not strong when you burn it, but um, yeah, that one's always been notoriously weak. I gave up on that one a long time ago because it just doesn't burn well for me. A lot of the vanilla scents just don't. Um, and then the number one 
most disappointing scent is warm apple pie. I love that scent on cold. It is so delicious. Smells just like an apple pie, but when I, when I go to burn it, nothing. It's just so weak. It does not throw very well. Um, I've tried that one several times, and I just cannot get that one to throw. If you guys have any luck with warm apple pie, let me know. Um, because I definitely want to get that version if I can find a good one that throws. But those are some weak ones. But now let's get into the strong ones Why you guys are here. Um, and I'm going to go, I'm going to do the top 10 and I'm going to go like least strong to strongest. But these are all super strong. You cannot go wrong with any of these. So, um, but at number 10, I have Tis the Season. And this packaging, by the way, gorgeous. Hello. <laughs> um, but uh, this one is Rich Red Apple Sweet Cinnamon Cedarwood. And this one, if you want one candle for Christmas, you want Tis the Season. It is so strong. It just fills your house with cinnamon, apples, just delicious. Uh, it smells just like Christmas. When I burn this candle, my house smells like Christmas, and I love it. So, tis the season, super strong, love that one. Uh, number nine, I have Eucalyptus Spearmint, or also known as Stress Relief. And this one is, says the fragrance notes are Fresh Spearmint, Clary Sage, Eucalyptus Leaf. And this one, um, I really think this one it relaxes me. I really think that maybe I just associate it with the time in my life where I was like stressed out and it really helped me. But um, I think this one actually does relieve your stress. And it's super strong. It's probably my favorite um, aromatherapy scent that they do. Um, but it is super strong. Like if you guys don't like you eucalyptus or spearmint I would definitely pass on this one because it's so strong um but definitely the strongest aromatherapy I think their aromatherapy scents are getting so watered down like go with the original this one's the best for sure um then number eight I have is leaves and this one is crisp red apple golden nectar warm clove spice and this one just smells like such a freaking delicious, like, apple cider scent for fall. Um, again, like, if you want a freaking fall candle, get this. Just like the Tis the Season. They're pretty similar, like, um, apple and spice. But this one's definitely screams fall to me. Um, and this one's super popular. It's always been popular because it's strong and delicious. That's why. Um, then number seven, I don't have to show you, but it's Fresh Balsam. Um, that again, super strong. I'm going to say that like 10 times, but, um, I know people that we get a real Christmas tree every year, but I know people that will get a fake Christmas tree and get Fresh Balsam and burn it. And people think that they have a real tree, um, because it's so strong and it just fills your house like with fresh tree scent so love that one um then number six is actually I don't have that one either but it's black tie and I that's the, definitely I think the strongest cologne scent that they have um but it is such a sexy scent um just smells like cologne but I I love that scent black tie um it almost can get a little overwhelming sometimes but I think it's definitely the strongest cologne scent that they have. Um, then number five I have here, and it is Sun Tan. And this one is Sun Kiss Citrus Orange Blossoms Coconut Husk. And this smells just like, like it says, sun, like you're laying on the beach getting a sun tan. It smells just like sun tan lotion, which you have to kind of like that scent. But I... It just reminds me of summer. It gets me in the summer mood, and um, I love this scent. And it is freaking strong. Like, I almost had to blow this out, too. So, there's Suntan. Um, 
Then at number four, I have blueberry maple pancakes. And if you guys don't know, this is my all time favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. Wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup, and ugh, this candle is so delicious. It's so yummy. I just want to eat it. You get the blueberry pancakes, you get the maple syrup. It is so delicious and super strong. It will fill your house. So love this candle. Um, then at number three, uh, we have twisted peppermint. You guys, this is strong. Okay. Um, cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam. Woo! Every time I smell it on cold. Oh my gosh, it just like kind of like knocks the wind out of me. Um, this is a strong peppermint candle. Like if you, it feels like you're almost like walking through the winter woods and you like, you can like see your breath, you know, it's like that cold or like you pop in a mint, a strong mint. Um, this is so strong. Like if you want a strong peppermint candle, get Twisted Peppermint. Crushed candy cane doesn't do it for me. It's not strong enough. And um, peppermint marshmallow. This one will knock you out. <laughs> um, so there's twisted peppermint. Then at number two is Paris Cafe. And this one is rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, vanilla creme, but... Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is quickly becoming one of my freaking favorites. Forget all the other coffee scents they put out. This is the OG, the original, the best, in my opinion, um, Paris Cafe. And it's freaking strong, too. Like, if you want your house to smell like a freaking coffee house, Starbucks, get this candle. Oh my god, I love this. It's it's giving blueberry pancakes a run for its money, so it better watch out because this one's coming for it. <laughs> um, and then my number one candle is probably going to surprise you guys um, because you can't even get this one anymore. And I think this one is from like 2018, um, but it is Rome Pizzeria. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this one, I mean, it smells like a pizza. Um, smells just like a freaking pizza. Or more like, to me, it smells more like pizza crackers. Um, but this candle it was so freaking strong. Like, I had to blow it out after like 30 minutes because it was like nauseatingly pizza. <laughs> um... I don't think I will ever repurchase this again. Like, it was just, it was fun to burn a pizza candle, but, um, at first when you burned it, it was like, okay, it smelled like pizza, you know, you kind of get the oregano, you kind of get the crust note, um, but then after a while, it started smelling like burnt pizza, which is not like a pleasant smell to have in your house. <laughs> this was such a weird candle, but, um, I still have the pet the jar because I can't, I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. But this was such a fun candle, but will I get it again? No. <laughs> um, but boy was that this is the strongest candle that I have ever burned from Bath and Body Works. So, um, I just had to put that one in there. So that was it. You guys, my top 10 strongest candles. I suggest you have one of each of these in your collection minus the pizza one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, because when you just want a candle to fill up your house, I definitely suggest these ones. Um, but let me know if I missed any that you guys think are really strong. Put that in the comment section and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.